which of the following structure can be damaged by the injury of the spiral groove of humerus? Tendon of triceps, musculocutaneous nerve, axillary nerve, radial nerve. Pause the video and try to think about the answer. The answer would be radial nerve. The radial nerve lies in the groove that is posterior to the shaft of humerus. The greater tubercle is a prominence on the lateral side of the upper end of the bone. It merges with the body below and can be felt through the deltoid inferior to the acromion. The tendons of supraspinatus and infraspinatus are inserted into impressions on its superior aspect. The lesser tubercle is a distinct prominence on the front of the upper end of the bone. It can be palpated through the deltoid just lateral to the tip of the coracoid process. The intertubercular groove passes on the body between the greater and lesser tubercle, continuing down from the anterior border of the tubercle to form the edge of the groove. The tendon of biceps within a synovial sheath passes through this groove, held within it by a transverse ligament. The posterior surface of the body is marked by a spiral groove for the radial nerve, which runs obliquely across the upper half of the body to reach the lateral border below the deltoid tuberosity. Within this groove lie the radial nerve and the brachial vessels, and both may be affected by fractures involving the shaft of humerus. The lower end of the humerus is wide, flat, anteroposteriorly, and inclined anteriorly. The middle third of the distal edge forms trochlea. Superior to this are indentations for coronoid fossa anteriorly and olecranon fossa posteriorly. Lateral to the trochlea is a rounded capitulum which articulates with the radius. If the video was useful, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel.